Okay, Iris, here is what you want to do for the um, one-time offer for that one-click upsell. So I've just got a, a sample funnel here. You can see there's a sales page. That's your, um, that's your VSL sales page. And then the order form, order confirmation, and thank you page. And so what you want to do is right underneath here, you can see it's got the, the type, squeeze page, sales page, order form. Um, so you want to make sure that the type of page that you add is an OTO page. So I'm going to add a new, a new step. I'll just call this um, upsell. Oops. Create the funnel step. And then under templates, it's under sales, and then one-click upsell, or OTO. So click that button. It'll show you all the one-click upsell templates. I'll just pick a simple one. Um, this one here. It's got a video on it. And then um, I'm going to take that page, and I'm going to drag it up so that it goes right after the order form, but before the order confirmation. So they put in their credit card. It charges their card for the tripwire, then it sends them here, it makes the one-time offer, and then that if they click the button, it'll charge their credit card for the one-time offer, then it'll send them to the order confirmation page. So if I come in and edit the page, uh, oop, before I edit the page, let me go back. This is important. Before you edit the page, you want to go um, on this step, you want to go up to the products page, products tab, and you want to add the product, otherwise there's nothing for it to charge. So in this case, um, I'll do uh, uh, core offer. I'll just call it the core offer, core offer product. And it's $77 or 47 or whatever we decided you're going to charge on that. And it's a one-time charge. Product description is going to be um, relationship course, something that will remind them what they purchased. Okay. And then... Um, Fulfillment email. So you go to the next tab for fulfillment email. Fill out the email. Thank you for your purchase of the core off, whatever you know the product name is. <coughs> and you can spruce up this. Their, their thank you email is kind of simple. You can spruce that up a little bit. And then this is important. Make sure you pick the thank you page from um, from your funnel. Oh, geez. I have so many funnels in here. I don't know which one this is. What is it? Test quiz funnel? I think it's probably somewhere down here. <laughs> test iris funnel. Um, there's a test quiz funnel. So you got to find your funnel. Oh, here we go. And then pick the thank you page. If you don't do this, it'll actually create a new thank you page for you, a blank one, and it'll try to send them to a blank thank you page, and you don't want that. So every product that you have, when you add a new product, this is. I wish they would put this on the on the previous page because most people never click this tab. But you want to make sure that you come in here and select the thank you page that you create, the one that you design. Because otherwise what it'll do is it'll create a fake one and it'll put it down below here in a drop down box and you won't even know it's there. <laughs> anyway, so now there's, you know, now there's a product in here that can be charged. Okay, so if we go back into the step and click on edit page, now we want to set our button so that it, it purchases that product. So you'll obviously put your, your video in there, but if I click on the button and I click set action, it should say one click upsell. See, there's a lot of other options that a button can do here. Like you can open up a pop-up, you can visit a website, right? But in this case, we want it to be the one click upsell. So you just click that. And then this down here, oops, not that one. This down here, see, this is what I said before. No thanks, I don't need this now. This link, um, if you look at the URL, it's hashtag no link. Okay, and so that, that tells ClickFunnels that they're saying no to the offer. It won't charge their credit card, but it'll still send them to the confirmation page to show them that they purchased the tripwire, so they have their receipt for the tripwire. Um, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.